Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net and we are back with another Watch Dogs tweaking video. In the previous video I showed you how to disable the two worst things ever in the world in history to happen to PC gaming, mouse acceleration and mouse smoothing. In this video we're looking at some graphics tweaking and performance optimization and we'll also be showing how to disable some of the HUD and UI elements that way you can learn how to take screenshots without those HUD elements obstructing your view of the Chicago slums or the high or the downtown area. So first, let's go and look at the custom LOD settings. Level of detail is a setting that you can define in the game's options, but you can't define the lower level qualities. So things like environment quality, geometry quality, these things cannot be tweaked individually through the UI. You must do them here. Do a control F and find environment quality, one word, and that'll bring us here to the custom quality settings. You can see I've currently got it set to medium. Environment quality handles the view distance of things like NPCs and game objects without changing the other LOD subsets. So if you want to have a very far view distance of buildings and structures, you would set geometry quality to high or very high and if you want to keep your view distance of NPCs low, you would set environment quality to medium or low. And this will also impact performance, but it's potentially very useful for screenshots. It's a very powerful combination to change geometry and environment quality in that regard. Uh, post FX quality is just how the visual effects look in game. You can change this through the same low, medium, high, very high ultra settings as the others. Texture quality you can set to either PC or console that impacts performance slightly by dropping the texture quality and resolution and overall uh, sharpness of the textures when you change it to console. Do a control F now for geometry quality. This is the one that goes hand in hand with environment quality. So geometry quality over here handles the view distance of structures, of objects, and generally buildings. If you want to have a very far view distance of structures and, and objects and things like that, you can set this to high and, uh, and then keep your environment settings at a lower value if performance is an issue. Terrain quality uh, is of a similar tune. It is the view distance that you will have for terrain elements, so you'll still be able to see terrain a little bit far out, but this uh, gives this this impacts how much detail that terrain has so you can once again change this to one of those uh, options that you'll find in the game this is derived from the level of detail settings and is a, uh, a subset of those vegetation quality is how the plant life and trees and stuff like that looks if you don't care about having high quality plant life and you'd rather have the performance gain on a low end system set this to low or medium and uh, and then we can move over. So a lot of this stuff is handled through the settings like shadow quality, shading quality. Those are pretty obvious. Road quality you can set to PC or console. If you set it to console, your roads will and sidewalks and other things on the ground floors will have slightly lower quality. They'll look a little bit flatter in terms of the texture, but you'll gain some performance there in theory. I haven't really tested that too thoroughly, but that's the theory. Particles quality is the quality of particle effects like uh, let me let me find that again there we go particles quality so this impacts things like smoke some explosions uh, whenever you blow panels up on the wall this will impact that set this to low medium if you are having performance issues when encountering those elements or high if you'd rather have it uh, you know better tuned for a high-end PC Moving on from this, we have things like rendering splashes and rain. If you don't want to render rain for screenshot or other purposes, or just because you're sick of the rain, you can set this to zero. If you want to render rain, set it to one. And then splashes if you need a performance increase when it is raining. Say, for example, Watch Dogs Rain makes your system lag a little bit or drop in frame rate. Set this to zero. That will disable splashes when rain hits surfaces. It will also dis disable splashes when you jump into bodies of water, again, improving performance. So that's some of the LOD settings under the custom quality block. Now we can move on to things like uh, let's move on to physic config so there's another file called physic config under engine profile you can set this to high low whatever I, th I think the default value might be high physic config is a subset of LOD this one adjusts soft body physics of cloth water and elements affected by wind a real-world example of this would be to drive around in a 
on a motorcycle in Watch Dogs and then look at Aiden's overcoat. You'll notice that his overcoat kind of flows in the wind as you're driving on that motorcycle. If you disable this or set it to low, you will lose that immersion element, but you'll have some pretty good gains in performance. So once again, that tweak will help optimize for lower end video cards like the 7770, 250X, uh, 750 Ti, stuff like that. And moving on from this one, let's go look at max pre-rendered frames. I think it's all one word. It is all one word. So max pre-rendered frames, you can set by default, I think it is at three. This is how many frames are being pre-rendered on the GPU. So each one of these frames is filling the GPU buffer, your memory on the video card. If you've got a lot of RAM on your video card, if you have a large frame buffer, you can set this to a higher value and it will mitigate some of the stuttering or frame drops when dealing with vSync when you have vSync on. That'll make your overall experience smoother, but with a lower end video card, even uh, a 290X in some cases in testing because the game is horribly optimized, but with a lower end video card for sure, having this value above 1 is going to be a, ne a huge negative impact to your performance to your overall FPS. Set this to 1 if you've got uh, more conservative hardware in terms of performance. Max driver buffered frames is a part of the same family and I've got this at 0 for performance reasons. You can increase this if you've got a high-end setup and want to, be, uh, want to put out a more smooth VSync experience. Moving on from these, uh, we've already done all of the graphics stuff for the most part, so now we can move on to game profile settings and just type in game profile and control F. So here's where we can control mouse sensitivity and acceleration. I already have a video on how to do that, so we will skip over those elements. And then you can also tweak things like gamepad vibration. If you've got a rumble pack in your gamepad, you can enable or disable it here. If you're trying to take screenshots, disable use compass minimap, disable things like use subtitles. You can disable the reticle on the screen by setting this to zero. It's always set to zero to disable it. It's a one or zero as in yes or no. It's binary. Use waypoint. You can set that to zero to disable the little yellow waypoint on the screen for screenshot purposes. PDA notifications are the actual pop-ups when you get a new mission or have another notification. Set that to zero to disable it or one to enable it. Minimap is here. Set that to zero for screenshots. And then uh, a couple of other UI elements are in here as well. So uh, just toggle those based on if you want them on your screen or not, basically. Finally, network settings. Uh, you can use do control F for network profile. You can use these to determine which ports need to be forwarded on a router that requires manual forwarding for game ports. So the ones you'll want are 9000 through 9005 and it details exactly what each one is used for here and if you want to disable voice chat because people suck then you can do that here as well by setting it to zero and I believe that can be changed in game as well. So that's the gamerprofile.xml file. Save this, set it to read only when you're done and Watch Dogs will not overwrite it and hopefully tweaking some of those graphic settings will improve performance on low-end hardware while retaining high quality settings for things that are important to you like view distance of NPCs or buildings. So please check the link in the description below for a full detailed guide on all of this if you need any help. Leave a comment on that article if you need help and I will see you all next time. Peace.